Hey everybody, it's Blue Toad, and welcome back to Super Mario 3D All-Stars and Super Mario Galaxy again. Because after getting all the stars in the game and then beating the final Bowser again, if we now go to our profile that we created, it says it has two crowns now and says complete. It also has the Mario icon under underneath the, the number as well. Because if we go into it now, we now have the option to switch between Mario and Luigi. Luigi. And now it's time to play Super Luigi Galaxy. This is basically an extra profile, which means you have these six profiles plus an extra, like, double for each one. So, let's get started. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Doesn't have the opening cutscene of everything happening, but we are here now. Luigi is a bit slidey whenever you walk with him, and I think his jump is also possibly higher. Starting off as a difference. Maybe a bit faster? Hang on, I can outrun this bunny. Let's play hide and seek. If you catch all of us, we'll tell you about where you are. Ah, oh, okay then, if you say so. I mean, like, I don't normally just play hide and seek with whoever I find, but I guess I'll do it for you this time. Hang on. I know there's one in... Oh, it's probably the other hole through the planet, which you can't even see through this one. Like, there should be a hole going through it. Uh, anyway. Oh, there it is. And I get pushed out. I guess. Gra grab this rabbit. We'll start, buddy. He caught me! Oh, if only I'd hit it in the pipe. Okay, then. I'll check the pipe, then. There's another one. I think Luigi is definitely faster. You caught me! I should have hidden in the grass. But which grass? There's so much grass. The tall grass, probably. If there is such a thing. Which I'm guessing is more kind of flowers than grass. Oh, come on. Don't, don't go in there. Oh, I guess it's the bit over here. Oh, there's like, I guess it's grass. Not, I wouldn't say it would be though. I can't believe I let myself get caught. Wow, you caught all of us. Maybe you can help. Uh, you really can help, Mama. Also, I've seen this text before, so I don't really need to, like, read all the text this time, but I might read reread some of this text, so you have been warned. Also, let's just skip to the top. I have been watching you from here. This place is called the get, get the yes. <laughs> this is the same text. My name is Rosalina. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you need to power. You need the power to travel through space. Is my special one Peach or Daisy? Luma can give you this power. I will trust you to his care. With his care. To his care. With his care? To his care. With his care. You have the ability to spin now! Disaster has struck us just at, as you visited... As it visited you. I don't know, I just woke up. I, I know that's terrible. It's a terrible disaster when I wake up, but, you know. With Luma, I hope you can re uh, rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. But in space, there is no such thing as down. Is there? I guess there is. Maybe. Maybe not. Anyway. 
Spin! Let's do the spin. Shake or spin with Y. Let's go, please. And let's not fall into the black hole straight away. Although that would be fun. So, I guess Luigi's faster and slipperier, but I mean, that's pretty. That's a pretty alright combination, <laughs> so as long as you don't walk off the edge. Uh, where's this star chip? There. It's cool that you can do this though, and like, I know it's like basically the same. It's the same game, just with a different playable character, but, and they don't change any of the text, but it's still cool. So. Let's find this Goomba that looks like a Goomba and not a Goomba, if that makes any sense. None of these look like the Goomba I'm looking for, I don't think. Maybe? Maybe it's just the last... No, it is definitely a different enemy. Um, get me out of here! One of those enemies should have the key. You can, you can spin them around to make them dizzy. Once they're stunned, just run into them. Okay. Yes, sir. Uh, right away, sir. Where is this thing? There it is. Oh, just perfect key grab. Except for the fact that I didn't find the Goomba for like a minute. Thanks, would you mind rescuing my buddy in the base of there too? I'll transform into a sling star. Just jump into me after I transform. And also spin. Now let's head to the opposite side of the planet and take out this big Goomba. There we are. There we are. There we are. Okay, let's get back to the other side now. Hello, Mr. Luma. Hurry! Down here! I kind of wish that he actually went down the pipe properly. We've been waiting for you. That's a Grand Star, we have to save it. They're using it, the Grand Star to power that awful machine. I mean, we use the, the Grand Stars to power machines. We have to do something before the Grand Star powers. Okay, um, quick, find a way to stop that terrible machine. Don't, don't we do the same exact thing with like six or seven of these things? I think it's six. I don't think there's seven. If there was seven, that'd be funny. But anyway, it is interesting that we have to actually turn off these flip switches compared to usually we're turning them on. <sighs> turn off the flip switches on the floor to shut down this machine. Thanks, game. I was literally just about to finish as the text came up, but that's because I walked close enough to the loom for it to talk to me. Got a star, Grand Star Rescue Gateway Galaxy. I screw up stated, you increase your star bit count. And you've discovered a new galaxy. In the Terrace. Terrence, it's Terrence. The beacon is lit again. It shines weakly, maybe only as bright as a classic star, but at least the poor Lumas will survive now. I thank you for saving the Grand Star. These these star people are my fa wait. If the Lumas become stars one day, do, like do you mean like power stars or like actual stars? Because does that mean that we're powering the spaceship with Lumas? Or okay, it's fine. Yeah, it's so fine. It's just perfectly normal. 
It's a circle of life, you know? You know? Ship lost power and went into deep hibernation state. Couldn't move. Those who took them were a special one. Ah, uh, just fine. And discovered the power to cross the universe. Okay. Please, I have a request. This observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are scattered across space. And there is a chance that we uh, we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. These round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these, but the only one that is working now, powered by the star power you resort, is this one, the Terrace. Please go to the Terrace and try to recover the power stars from the galaxies you can see from there. If we do that, we'll be able to restore the Comet Observatory. Uh, observatory's ability to fly like a starship. Then perhaps we can pursue the thieves who ran off with the power stars. Also, I liked Luigi's star when he got the power or the, the grand star. Yeah. This place looks so empty right now yeah. for some reason. Like, I know we just unlocked it and it's like not a lot of the lights around here are on, but also just it's so empty. You earned an additional Luigi. Oh, Luigi, he just wanted to test the limits of his life just to see how much a one up was worth. Welcome! This dome acts as an eye of the observatory. From here we can see the galaxies. Luma's transformed into pool star. You go to the galaxies. Yes, I have already done this in Super Mario Galaxy. Not Super Luigi Galaxy, completely different game. I mean, yeah, obviously this is a completely different game. And I think in this Super Luigi Galaxy playthrough, I'm gonna actually probably do the domes to as much completion as possible before moving on. So I'm probably going to complete the dome like as much as possible and then move on. Which I did in the first place, but you know, in the in the first the Super Mario Galaxy I did all of the um the terrace straight away. I, th I think it wasn't even till the kitchen when I actually started just um moving on, which ended up being almost perfect in the amount of stars that I needed to beat the game and also see pretty much every galaxy. It would just be a little bit more practical to um, get them all done straight away so that uh, comets can unlock faster. Oh, can you not bounce off this? No, I can. I can bounce off its head enough to actually get over the launch star, which is useful to know. Oh, grab. Okay. Then the last two, I think, are around here somewhere. This one and then the one at the top. Oh, dear. I feel like it's a little bit more... Chaotic controlling Luigi with just the way that he's moving so fast, so you have to actually keep up with your movement controls. So, anyway, let's keep on doing that. Can I grab hold of that while it's trying to appear? <laughs> no? Okay. Now, which way do I need to long jump? Is it down? I think it's down. Yeah, that was pretty good. See if I can get this thing. Ow! Probably should not kill myself just yet. I mean, I'm doing better than I did in my my, my first playthrough of Super Mario Galaxy thing. <laughs> I walked straight off the edge. Ah, oh, I will remember that forever. Also, I will actually need to keep an eye on collecting star bits a little bit. I didn't. Like, I had a lot more than I needed in my p previous run, but also, uh, I'm, I still need to make sure that I need, get enough, because, yeah. And there are some stars that I will need to get, um, star bits in the levels themselves for as well, so I need to keep an eye on that, but I'll 
probably be able to remember which ones I need to do that, so... <laughs> I haven't even talked that much about what I'm doing in the game right now. And it's actually very relaxing. I don't know what is happening right now. But I'm enjoying it. Anyway, let's take you out. And just non-stop talking for 300 years. Maybe the reason I'm able to talk so much, mu so much, never mind, I can't talk at all. Maybe the reason I'm able to talk so much right now is because it's late and I'm tired, but I, I'm trying to trick my brain into thinking I'm not tired, but I don't know. I could just not be tired. Maybe I, I'm sleep, I could be sleeping enough and just, um, like I'm, I'm getting too much sleep and then I'm trying to, I, I keep, like, I kind of accidentally, not on purpose, trick my brain into thinking I am tired. Oh, star bits need to be given to Lumas. Uh, okay. I feel like this is just you telling me how to do something so you can get star bits from me. You know? I don't want to be rude, but also I can see what you're trying to do here. Okay, let's grab those. And let's feed you. That's the tastiest. Yum. Delicious. Oh, thank you. Yes. Hmm, tasty. Let's call those the two morsels my fee for this lesson. Sure. Sure, Luma. Anyway, let's head back in. And get the next star. Also, I think if I do actually have enough for Hungry Lumas when I do them, I'll probably do them straight away. And most of the Hungry Lumas in the game aren't actually that unreasonable. You usually can get enough around the area that the the Luma is at. Oh look, there's one. Except I believe this is actually required for this first star here, so makes sense. Just gonna get a few on this first planet. I shouldn't need that much. And there are more planets up ahead for getting more. Shoot those star bits, yes I know. And yes, I'm gonna spin this enemy for more star bits, obviously. And not jump on him for a coin. I don't think I can get to the launch star without using these pool stars. I do like that the Lumas do transform into um, different things. And it's great because they also color code the kind of things because like the launch stars are the yellow ones and the sling stars are also the yellow ones and then the blue ones which are the like the pool stars are blue as well as the lumens that you um that turn into them it's quite nice oh don't hit me oh don't hit me i'm just trying to kill luigi unintentionally but you know it's got to got to do it somehow right it's not about the the end the end of Luigi. It's about the friends he made along the way. I might grab a few. I don't know how many star bits I need, but I probably it's it's probably around 50. So I probably didn't actually need to go to this planet. I was thinking about skipping over it, but I guess I'll just go anyway. There will be more star bits to collect. I love how many of the planets you can see, even if you don't go to them in each mission. Feed me a bunch. First a snacky happiness and then transform. A hundred. Okay, so I need a little bit more than I collected so far. Just a little bit. There is still a lot of... I, I skipped over most on the other planets, so I can still go do that as well. If I need to. Which I will. I like. Don't need much from the other planets, but I will need a little bit more. There's so many star bits to collect on each planet. I got like 25 just now. Oh, and I just got more from the launch star. Okay then, I'm gonna skip this planet and go back to the the rock one. 
And don't forget the rest of the star bits in midair because that's just how it is. Okay, I'm gonna risk Luigi's life again. Oh dear. No, I got it. If you could kind of, kind of roll like the control stick around where they are, you can kind of get it out of the edge of its rolling. Ow, or just get run over. You know, that works too. I have 120 star bits, the one for every star in the game, except that it's Luigi Galaxy plus Mario Galaxy. That means we need 100, no, 240. Man, I've been planning to play all of these 3D Mario games for ages, basically. Like, I was wanting to redo Mario 64 at some point, but I also wanted to play Super Mario 3D All-Stars. So I got all the stuff set up for it, and then I was like, well, I probably don't need to make a example for this, but I, I wanted to do a little bit more of Super Mario 64 in a better way. I want to have, I wanted to have a casual run and then just a run of me playing the game for fun, basically. Uh, and then I also wanted to do Sunshine, obviously, and that went well. And now this, I've, I enjoyed the first run, so I'm quite happy to play the game again. And I don't think I've played Super Luigi Galaxy before, so I haven't played this, this version. And it's going to be an interesting challenge. And I thought it'd be cool to have similarities between the different playthroughs. Oh my goodness, so many blue things, blue lines on the screen. Okay. Excuse me, going through. Going into the, the gravity. Okay. Nope, don't go that way. This way. Do it. Also, well, Luigi's got like a flutter when he jumps, kind of. Like if I wall jump and then... No? Never mind. I don't know. It seemed like he bounced off of something and then he was like fluttering his feet. But I don't think that's an actual move that you need to worry about. Anyway, let's go ahead and grab this star straight away. Since we don't even need those... Uh, pool star chips. I might also try not saving after every single star. I did that pretty much... I think I did it the whole way through Super Mario Galaxy. But I think I can actually not have to save that much. Anyway, we've also on our way to getting the next enemy base, except we also need to get to the next few galaxies first. Kinda don't want to skip too far ahead. But anyway, let's head back to Good Egg and get some more stuff done there. You don't seem to be able to see much of Luigi's face when he's flying or in any kind of cutscene. Because his cap or his nose just gets in the way for some reason. Oh, is this actually where King Caliente was? I didn't realize he was in this level. Like, I thought it was a different level that it was in. But apparently it's actually... This galaxy. <laughs> the first galaxy is where King Caliente is. That's... Kind of surprising me. Right now. But anyway. Also there's... Those up there that I'm gonna just get since they're... Right here. Now, what do I need to do on this planet? I forgot. It's fine. I'll figure it out. I'm sure. Let's probably get rid of some things. Probably the big, gigantic, spiky thing over here. I don't know what the, what it is. It kind of it is similar to the um, the sea urchins, though. Also, these are definitely coconuts because they they fall from the palm tree and they look like coconuts but in the credits of the game they have watermelons that kind of look like the same kind of thing 
So I think they were originally supposed to be watermelons that you're kicking around or something. Or at least the watermelons that were in that one planet that we made explode. I guess that was actually supposed to be... Um, I guess those watermelons were there from something else that they could have been. But anyway, let's have gravity go all crazy on us. And let's get rid of all of these Goombas with the power of Rainbow Luigi. Also, some of those Goombas only give coins, I guess, which is fine, but we can also get rid of these Chain Chomps. And obviously I want to get Rainbow Luigi because Rainbow Mario is already fast and Luigi's faster. So, <laughs> you can imagine just how much speed Luigi can have. Gonna get some more star bits. And can I just, like, get up there? Pretty much. Let's go! Also, I like how far away we are from the other planets in this galaxy. Because I could see them on, the, on that other planet and they were just... Um, I can't change the camera. They were all, like, foggy because of how far away they are. But anyway, we're almost at the King Caliente fight, the first one, since there are two. Up we go. Maybe I should have a personal challenge to not use, um... Life shrooms for bosses. Kind of daredevil run myself with regular bosses. Although that's a bit difficult sometimes when I know there's a regular boss coming but don't think about it. But anyway, I guess I could try. I did think about it a few times in the in the regular playthrough. Okay. Also, these things are definitely different from the crystal or rock ice and fire things. Those look more like Potaboos, but they're also blue. Or the lava balls, I guess, as they're called in Super Mario Odyssey. But anyway, let's grab some more star bits and grab the star. Yaha! It's a Luigi time! It's a me, Luigi! <laughs> and I don't know what's gonna happen when we actually get to the bit where Luigi is supposed to be in this game. Because I think there's just gonna be two Luigis, which is gonna get confusing. But we're gonna we have to figure out a way to work out which one's which. I'm the real Luigi, and the other one's the, the, the knockoff version. Green Mario. Or maybe I'm Green Mario. Be Luigi takes flight. That's actually interesting that it actually replaces... I guess it's not that strange that they just replaced every single Mario name with Luigi. That's just a simple variable thing. Just a name variable that they changed. Welcome to the Honey Hive Kingdom. Our queen rules this land. Just wanted to formally in tell you before you thought about invading or claiming this territory. And also, um, get out. <laughs> Basically. Just... Calmly threatening. Politely threatening. I like the effort that was put into... Like, some of the things in this mode. Because it's not just a reskinned Mario. There's different m moves that Luigi has, different, like, stats. And, like, the different models for e each power-up as well. Oh, this seems to go by really quickly as Mario- as Luigi, though. Okay, that's something interesting. So I guess the fly meter and possibly the swim meter go down faster as Luigi. Well, I could just be wrong. I could just be wrong. Or I could just be Luigi. 
but I'm definitely not B Mario. Maybe if I ration out my fly better. Oh, 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 you can't jump with those things. And they actually do hurt you after a bit. Oh, jump. Thank you. I like the way that B Luigi looks. It looks alright. When his wings are flapping when he's flying. I think that's probably the same with Mario, that I, but I just probably didn't notice it. I was hoping to get up further with that, but nope. Head on up and up some more. Let's go. <laughs> How this bee's just here and not even moving, he's just sitting there with his face in the honey. It's like mm -hmm, I'm just I'm just eating some of this delicious honey. It's like what? It's just, you could move to actually sh ex show what you're doing as a bee. Also, this seems very weird controls on this honey as Luigi, but that's probably just because I'm not used to it. Anyway, let's take this prior plant out and go up this vine. And who might you be? Get it? Bee? A, f a physician, we should presume. No matter, we are in the most vexing predicament and require assistance. This most furious itch it ugh. furious itchiness plagues our entire being. It must be uh, mu it must be stopped. <sighs> Please find the source at once. Okay, well, let's get started and climb all over this fur, which is actually interesting that the way that this fur exists because it's not like actual individually rendered bits of fur it's actual uh, I'm a newbie uh, but it's it's actually just the same texture layered over itself a lot also the gravity on this queen exists apparently since I was flying away when somehow also upside down anyway I like Captain Toad. Ah, a bee! <laughs> what, Luigi, is that you? We escaped from Peach's castle and we thought Bowser would get us. And then we get lost with Luigi. I don't remember getting lost with you, but sure. I'll take your power star. Were well, you talking are you talking about uh Gruigi? Or Waluigi? <laughs> There's something funny about Imagining that Waluigi's, like, first thing was because there's two Luigi's in Super Mario Galaxy or Super Luigi Galaxy, then one of them has to be an alternate universe Luigi, and then it becomes Waluigi? Probably not likely, but anyway. Ah. Luigi, your name is Luigi, isn't it? That's what I heard from your friends who just arrived. Luigi has such a nice ring. Your friends are waiting for you in the garage. I think they want to tell you something. You best hurry over there. They're gonna tell me about the, uh... They're gonna talk about the other me. Like, um... Uh... Like a, an actual Nintendo me. But anyway, that is it for this episode of Super Luigi Galaxy, and I've... I, I, I might have been a, gone a bit crazy. I, I probably went off the deep end somewhere. But anyway, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.